Did you know that over 60% of Etsy sellers make less than $100 a year? Crazy, right? But with the right strategy, you could be among the successful few that turn their passion into a successful Etsy business. Today we're diving into how you transform your Etsy shop into a profitable Etsy business. If you've been struggling to make sales, or if you just want to boost your Etsy income, then you're in the right place. Let's explore how to unlock the full potential of your Etsy shop and pave the way to growth and success. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sean Shalise and my channel is all about that ultimate quest of living your dream life. I show entrepreneurs how to start, grow, and scale online businesses so they can live the life that they want to live and do it without getting overwhelmed or burnt out. I'm an Etsy seller that sold over $250,000 in revenue and I love helping new Etsy sellers turn their passion into profits. If you're new here or even if you've seen a few of my videos and you found them helpful, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It helps my channel and it also makes sure that you see future videos that I upload that'll give you more information on how to grow your online business. So let's talk about some of the common challenges that Etsy sellers face. First up, visibility. With millions of Etsy sellers competing for attention, it can seem like your products are lost in a sea of options. Next, there's competition. You might be offering the most unique products, but if your Etsy shop isn't optimized, then potential buyers will never find you. And then there's the dreaded stagnant sales. You might have a few good months, and then it feels like your sales just stop. I know for my first couple of years on Etsy, the summer months were really slow for me. Sound familiar? Don't worry, you're not alone. A lot of Etsy sellers found themselves in this position and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now let's talk about some real actionable strategies to enhance your Etsy shop. First things first, optimizing your listings is crucial. It doesn't matter how good your products are if people can't find you. Speaking of which, SEO is your best friend. I did a complete video on Etsy SEO and SEO means search engine optimization. I'll leave it linked in the cards above me and in the description. On a very high level, optimizing your listings means making sure your type description and your tags are filled with keywords that potential buyers will use to find your items and by keywords I mean the words that a potential buyer would come into Etsy type into the search bar to look for what you sell if you need help finding keywords you can use tools like eRank and Everbee they're designed to help you find the right keywords to help you show up in Etsy search it's also important that you not only optimize your listings but you optimize your shop this means making sure your shop is fully branded Include a shop banner, a photo of you as the shop owner. Etsy buyers like to feel connected to Etsy sellers, so showing your beautiful face with a smile will really help. Add text into your announcement section. You can add keywords here, and you can include things like a welcome message or your shipping policies or anything you want your buyers to know about your shop. Also, make sure you fill out the about section in your shop. This is what shows up at the bottom of your main shop page. This is your chance to tell your buyers all about you. It's a section where it's good to be personable. Add some pictures, tell your origin story, allow your buyers to get to know you. You should make sure your shop policies are all filled out and you should even add a frequently asked questions section to answer any potential questions you think your buyers might have for you. Next, let's talk marketing. Now I know the main reason you sell in a marketplace like Etsy is because Etsy has its own traffic, but we're just not gonna depend on the Etsy traffic. We're gonna drive our own traffic to our shops. Social media is the best way to do this. Now I know for some of us that might be a four letter word, but but bear with me, social media is a fantastic way to drive free traffic to your Etsy shop. You're already creating eye-catching listing photos, so why not post those on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest to bring traffic to your shop? Trust me, I know how hard social media can seem. I'm at the beginning now of growing a new Instagram page, and it's a lot. But with consistency, you can do it. My pro tip here is to focus on one social media platform at a time, whether that be Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. Choose your platform based on your target audience. What social media platform do they frequent the most? And that's where you wanna be. Consider collaborating with influencers too. They can help you reach a wider audience. I just mentioned your listing photos, so let's talk about the visuals for your shop. 
High quality images can make a huge difference when it comes to attracting potential buyers. Your first listing photo is the first thing a potential buyer sees. Make sure it is the best representation of your product. Picture your first listing photos in the Etsy search results next to your competitors. What can you add to your image to make a potential buyer have to click on it? And then once they do, what other listing images can you add to answer all of their questions about your product? Now we've talked about optimizing your listings, marketing, and making sure you have killer listing photos. And here's a key insight that can significantly boost your sales, and that's building an email list. Yes, you heard me right. By collecting the email addresses of your potential customers, you can send them exclusive offers, updates on your products, or even helpful information related to your niche. Think about it. Having a direct line of communication to your customers gives you an edge. You can direct traffic to your Etsy shop in a way that social media can't. Plus, loyal customers are more likely to return and buy again. If you have no idea how to build an email list for your Etsy business, I got you covered. Keep watching and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. We've covered some serious ground today from tackling visibility and competition to leveraging SEO, marketing strategies, and the importance of building an email list. Remember, implementing these strategies can truly transform your Etsy shop into a successful business. Don't underestimate the power of small changes that can lead to big results. Now, I want to hear from you. Share your experiences and your questions in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. As promised, let's get that email list started. Watch this video right here and I'll walk you through setting up your email list step by step.